Hey guys, welcome to Sound Pure. I'm Barry, and this video is looking at uh, Noble and Cooley snare drums. Uh, this particular one is out of the Classic series, which is one of their solid shell series. Uh, this is a 7x14 Ash. Uh, one of the great things about, uh, about Noble and Cooley is that they use uh, regional sustainable woods. So this particular one comes out of their backyard. They kind of cut the stuff down and, and mill it themselves. It's great. Uh, so one of the beautiful things about the solid shell is that it uh, lacks a lot of the extra glue and, and interruption in, in terms of tone. So this starts as a quarter inch plank of wood. They roughly uh, and they steam it and bend it into shape. Uh, it stays in forms for about eight weeks. Where with a, the ply drum, you're looking you're looking at uh, cross plies that are stacked vertically and horizontally, uh, alternating. But then there's layers of glue in between, so it kind of disrupts the the actual resonance of the drum. So this guy actually just kind of opens up, and the notes kind of tend to blossom a little bit more. This does have a reinforcing ring, so depending on how you tune the drum, uh, it allows you to kind of make the drum either bigger or, or tighter. Uh, and again, uh, at the, the high registry, it becomes a little bit flatter, but on the, on the low side, it can almost sound like a size, a size and a half larger than it actually is. Uh, this is a 10 lug drum. Uh, this is Noble & Cooley's proprietary lug. It's a solid brass um, piece, uh, single screw, so there's not a whole lot of um, uh, hardware actually touching the shell. They put this at the nodal point, again, just allowing this drum to kind of resonate at its maximum potential. The solid brass actually acts like a, a mini compressor, so it does kind of minimize some of the overtones that you're getting from this drum. You put that together with the reinforcing rings and it really kind of measures up a really nice, uh, pretty concise drum. Uh, this is uh, 2.3 millimeter flange tubes. Uh, again, this is one of the options. Uh, the, there is an option for die cast tubes, but the, the, the flange tubes does open the drum up a little bit more. It makes it a little bit more breathy. They've added ABS washer here, so there's no metal to metal contact protecting your hardware. And then of course you got the classic um, Noble and Cooley throw off. It's a drawbridge style with a sensitivity dial on this side and there's a matching blood plate. Everything's solid brass here, American made. Uh, again, just with the, the quality of the components, just a really nice offering that's just kind of a great complement to this timeless piece. Uh, this ships with Remo heads, coated ambassador top, snare side ambassador bottom, allowing you to hear more of the drum and a lot less of the drum head. And then of course, Noble and Cooley's snare wires, uh, just uh, steel, kind of a little bit brighter, a little bit, uh, a little more sparkly, uh, just to kind of adds and, and, and accentuates kind of the sparkle and sensitivity on this drum. Uh, this drum's available on a Try Before You Buy program. It's a hassle-free way to get this drum in your own hands and really appreciate and understand the nuances of this instrument at your own pace. We'll run this drum through a couple different tuning examples to kind of give you an idea what it's capable of. Be right back. So that was the Noble Cooley 7x14 Ash Drum. Uh, this particular one is in a Shosugi, a Shosugi Bond uh, finish. It's uh, kind of a, a flamethrown kind of finish to kind of sear, uh, sear out some of the, the moisture but protect it. Uh, so uh, what they do is they actually flame, use flame to kind of uh, focus focus the, the, the finish, and then they brush back and then apply an oil finish. It's uh, really, really cool. It looks great with the, uh, with the ash, it just really accentuates the grain pattern. Uh, this, uh, you know, the solid shell is just an incredible, uh, incredible uh, instrument. Whether you're using this in a live situation or in a studio situation, it just uh, uh, has a different voice that you don't find from a lot of the, the, the typical ply drums. It's an incredible character, and again, depending on how you tune it, it could be really tight or it could be really big. 
uh, it just makes it uh, just a very unique instrument. Keep in mind that we're always looking for quality trades as well, so if you find yourself not using something, give us a call, we'll get you traded up. And if you like the video, please subscribe below, and don't forget to follow us on social media. You can stay up to date with the latest arrivals as well as the current news. Thanks for watching.